Hey Aleopa! Hi everyone and welcome back to Sail in Swedish. I'm your host Joakim and today I'm going to talk about diminutive, dim, diminutive, chuf, which we don't have in Swedish. Today I'm going to talk about the is ending, the is ending, which we use uh, in spoken Swedish to shorten words or to make them a bit sweeter, like uh, diminutive. In the 18th century we borrowed this ending from Latin, actually, to Latinify words. I don't know why they, I say they because I wasn't born back then, but they used this to shorten words basically and I don't know why they did that, if they wanted to sound erudite or if they wanted to make fun of something. So we used this ending to shorten words both nouns and adjectives and for instance we've got goodies which is a short word is a noun uh, which means sweets or candy and is made up of good which is an adjective actually which means good or delicious and goodies is then a noun for for candy and sweets and uh, actually this one is not too colloquial actually because we use it all the time for uh, I think uh, more, a more, uh, you know, real word for this would be sock. But this term is not the one you would use immediately. If you, if you think of candy, you think of goodies. So something good, goodies. And this is uh, the is ending here is used to, you know, shorten the word although it makes it longer. <laughs> but we've got other examples, like we have these adjectives poppis, which means popular and is short for popular. And then we have bakis, which is short for bakfull, which means hungover. And then we have uh, sotis, which is short for, or rather a slang for svartsjuk, which means jealous. And svartsjuk, um, I mean soot. Soot is uh, like ashes and or something like that, and it's it's black or gray actually or white. <laughs> but I guess uh, because uh, svart and you know if you have it in your on your face, it it's black mostly, and so. It's pretty much. It's not a, a short. It, it's not a short for svartsjuk in that sense that it, it, that it would be like svartis. But uh, sotis means svartsjuk. Uh, I guess because it's uh, black. This turned into a rant. <laughs> so these adjectives are very normal to hear, uh, although they are mm, colloquial terms. But we could also use this is ending as diminutive, which means we make we use it to uh, make words sweeter. For instance, we have the word kram, which uh, means hug, and we say that, or we uh, we write that in letters and emails in Sweden. And uh, two girls, uh, teenage girls, might in in a chat room they might write kramis or in a text, you know, uh, you have, so in this case it's not shorter, we have, we, we, we add those two letters, but it's, makes the word a bit sweeter. And, um, I mean, this one is pretty, at least it was used as I uh, grew up, as I was a, a teenager, so, I think it's more, uh, this one is more uh, spread, so people would know, uh, I mean, come on, people would know uh, which word is get, uh, you know, sweetened here. Uh, but what I mean is that there, this is a colloquial thing and people might create words like this and uh, other people might not understand what kind of... Uh, words are are used here or what they mean but most of the times uh, we you in this case we just use it to we just add it on a word and we don't shorten the word so uh, in in this case when we sweeten a word we uh, 
just add those two so we we get an, a word with <laughs> two extra letters that then sounds more you know s sweeter I don't know why it's just how it is and so for instance if I've got a, my girlfriend here the uh, air and um, I I want to call her something. Maybe she does some, uh, something a lot, like she, maybe she she blinks a lot. I don't know, but it, it's a feature I like about her. And then I would maybe call her Blinkies. So it's basically used to make nicknames as well. So maybe I'm I'm uh, I'm fat, or but you know. <laughs> so maybe I would, you know, uh, in a, a friendly context, uh, get called shockies. But actually, this word is uh, an adjective that is used in a not so friendly manner. It's you know fatty. <laughs> but it could, it could, this is how we would um, construct sweet nicknames in Sweden. So that was everything that I had for you today. I hope you learned something and thank you so, so much for watching, liking and subscribing. Leave a comment below what would you like to see in the future. I would really like to know. And if you want to learn a bit of Swedish, stop by SaidInSwedish.com for free audio lessons and vocabulary lists that I've made for you. And there are a bunch of videos, videos on this channel, so please watch something else and we will see each other in that video. Alright? So, hit up!